Hey everybody, the following is an excerpt from the monthly Rotto Roundup, and if you'd like to see the rest of the Roundup, you can hit that I up in the top right corner of the screen, or if you'd like to know more about the game, you can follow the link down in the show notes. And with that out of the way, let's talk about kites. Oh my goodness, this is a real-time cooperative game where players are playing cards as fast as they can that represent different kites, and um, we're playing them as fast as possible to keep the kites in the air. Because when I play, say, a kite or a card that has a, a purple and a yellow kite on it, that means I have to flip the purple and the yellow t uh, sand timer that represents how long the purple and the yellow kite will stay in the air. And um, each one of the, you know, the red kite is the dangerous one. That's the one that will only stay up in the air for 30 seconds. It's a 30 second sand timer. The purple is the slow one. It's easy to fly. It'll stay up for a minute and a half. And um, the game is so challenging because you must wait your turn. And um, often you'll find yourself, okay, don't play anything, don't play anything. If I just wait a little bit longer, um, then uh, if I flip, if I flip this right now, We'll have to flip it again almost immediately. But this is the card I need to play. And so it's a literal, you are juggling, or I guess figuratively, sorry, I understand literal, you're figuratively juggling these, um, communally, these uh, uh, sand timers that represent these different cards. And the key to success in this game is communication. You have to be constantly saying, Okay, go, 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 do anything. I need to flip that right now, now, now. It's the only thing I can do. Um, you know, and so there's a lot of that. Jen and I, we actually played this in our monthly Rotto Re Rest and Relax video, which is a Patreon and member exclusive. And if you watch us play it, we were not relaxed at all. We actually played three games back to back. We got better with each one. And I think it's an absolutely brilliant design. It's up there with Fuse, uh, which is, you know, one of the better co-op games that have come out over the last decade. And uh, I think we were really impressed by this. It's super challenging. Challenging, and that's without turning on. There's like special event cards you can do, like stormy weather and low flying planes that will mess with your kites. But um, yeah, uh, Jen found it a little frustrating, quite frankly. Um, but she appreciated the fact that uh, it really forces you to put your brain in a different mode, in a communicative mode. Only way you can win this game is, I mean, I mean it's tough to do, it's just to be uh, thinking about, okay, this is what I want to do in two turns. This is what I need to do next. Um, this is what, I, I can handle that. Okay, I need to do this, I need to do that. And everybody needs to be talking to be able to have a, a chance of success. And um, it's a quick, quick game too. Especially if you lose as fast as we did. But even if you get a win, um, you know, the, it's a wonderful filler. Great for different player counts. A lot of variety. Just a brilliant, brilliant design. I am very, very impressed impressed with uh, number 10 of the month, Kites. And thanks for watching, folks. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference, believe me. But with that out of the way, if you'd like to see some more, over on the left, you can find a playlist of a whole bunch more Rotto Rapid Reviews. Up in the top right, there's the latest thing that's been added to the channel. And in the bottom right, you've got something YouTube recommends. Okay, folks, thanks for watching.